Music's and questions and lots of education on the Edward Show. Fun and stories and all the entertainment, it's the Edward Show. Bloody hell, dudes. We're on the way to the Londons. No, yes, I know. I know, second exit. Now, we are going to the Londons and we're listening to the Adam and the Ants. Do you like it? The Scorpios. Listen to that. Now, I, I shall turn it down, Jesus. Uh, we're going to the Londons, to the, uh, the Hackney Old Bath, to do the Nibiru's Planet Shop, with the Ergo Frismas and the Lachy Bowwaters. And we're very excited. Now, there has been a change of the plans, dears, because, right, what happened was, the people in the, the circus, because I ran away to join the circus, and the people in the circus, right, they, um, they couldn't drop me off in the Hackneys anymore because it was too early. It's very early in the morning. It's 9.13, right? So what happened is they called up the ring and the rides for me, dears. The ring and the rides, you know that? And they, so they've picked me up. The ring and rides is taking me now. And I said, thank you very much, Mr. Ring and Rides. And... <clears throat> So we're very excited on the way to the Londons to do the show, right? I have the washboard in the back and I'm listening to the Adam and the Ants. Scorpios, 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 you see it's very nice. And so I will go now and see you in a, in a little while because we're about to go on the motorway and see dears. You know the motorway and so I shall see you later. So we're stuck in the traffic, but we're here with the Beachy Boys. Now the Beachy Boys, wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice? If we were yes, it would. We Have to wait, wait so long. Yes, nice come for me, Article 13. Article 13, the YouTube internet's going to take down my videos because I have the Beachy no Boys in the background. Ooh, listen to that. You see the beachy boys, the Brian Wilson's this. Listen to him sing. Never ending. Oh, now listen for the best bit. This is the best. The run, run wheels. Hope and pray, my. Listen now. Run, run wheels. The run run wheels, the run run wheels this. Yes, it's very nice. I love this. The bright be nice. Now listen, it slows down. It only makes it us to live without it. Let's talk about it. Yes, wouldn't it be nice? Run, run, wheel. More run, run, wheels. I love the run, run, wheels. Yes, yes. yes. I'm, but I'm going to change. I'm going to change the music now, dears, because we're just sitting in the traffic, the traffic jams. So now we're going to have something different. I'm like a disc jockey, dears. The disc jockeys. Now listen to this. We're going to have some of the funkadelics, dears. What have we got? If you now, you listen to that, yes. Yes, we're going to jig. We're going to jig, dears. Yes, the George Clinton's, dears. Yes. Now, yes. We get the funk. We get the funk in the Edward Ringen ride. Yes. 
But, oh no, I like this one. If you don't, now, if you don't like the effects, don't produce the cause. See, they're, they're getting political. Facts. Don't produce the cause if you don't like the effects. Yes, don't produce the cause. Yeah, the George Clinton, his genius did. Listen to the harmonies, this, the harmonies. Produce the cause, yes. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, the funky song. Listen to the Bootsy Collins on the brass guitar and listen to the drumming. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I make me shimmy my shoulders, dear. Yes, like this. Yes. The ring and ride chap is looking at me funny, but I don't care. When I listen to the funky funks, it just makes me most this. Yes, getting in the in the mood for the Nibiru's show. Yes, like this. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes. Listen to the Bootsies. The Bootsy Collins is this. Yes. He played, he played with the Giants brands as well. You know the Giants brands? Like the effects, yes. Now, Jones produced the co Oh, and there's a bus with eyes on it. Look, Mega Play Bus. Yes. We're just sitting here. I'm going to be late for the Nibiru's. I'm very sorry to the Lati Bowwaters and the Ergo Frismises and everybody and the Alvis Herods and the Goody Pals. The Goody Pals. I'm very sorry. I'm going to be late. What are we on? 1048 days. 1048. And I still have 52 miles to go. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm going to go now and I'm going to shimmy my funky funks to the sound of the Funkadelics. You know the Adam Lee has hey ho hey ho hey ho hey ho You know that? Yes, we're excited going to the Londons. We're going to see the famous celebrity stars, the, the Lottie Bro Waters and the Alvis Herods and the Katarina Robertsons and all of those. We're going to see them and they're, they're very celebrity likes and uh, you know in the Londons I went to the Londons a few years back and I saw some of the celebrities while I was walking around the, the streets I saw the Timothy Spalls do you know him he was from the Harry Pottings right and he was also in the show about the pets you know the pet the, the goodbye pets that Alf Weed is saying. Do you know that show? When the, all the Brickies, you know the Brickies, they, they went to the Germanys. And so that's why they said the Alf Weed is saying pet. Because it's like the people from the Georgies going to the Germanys, you see. And it had the, the, the Timothy Spalls. You know the, you're him, he played the Barry. You know, the, oh shut up. You know the Barry, right? He went, all right, Barry, my, my name's Barry, all right, all right, like that, like the Brummer, you know the Brummer? So yes, he did the, the Barry, right, and it also had, you know the Jimmy Nails, you know the Jimmy Nails did? He did that songs, he did the music songs as well as the acting, he did the, ain't no doubt it's plain to see, the girls like you's no good for me, and he did all that, and he did that other one, oh shut up again, and he did the um, crocodile phrase, crocodile phrase, you know that song about the crocodile phrase, where the wrinkles and things, you see. So anyway, I'm going to go back to listen to the Prince Charming's Adam of the Ants, okay? So I see you later, dears. I am to, I'm having my breakfast, dears, my bananings, because it's too early. I, I couldn't eat early, earlier when I got up out of the bed. So I'm having the bananings now, while the ring and ride chap takes us to the land. Now, he tells me that on the M6s, where we are now, right, they're doing the road work. You know the road work is? The, the road workings is everywhere. I don't like them. And he says it will take us longer to get to the London because they're doing the smart motor wings. 
on the um, the M6 is this. You know, and I don't like everywhere you go, they have the road workings and it's not on. They take months and months to do a tiny little stretch of the roads and they should do it fasted. Every time you go past, there is nobody doing the workings, you see. They, they, they just have all the, the things up and then, oh, I can see a sign now. It's like a chap with a spade, right? Saying one mile. That's when the road workings will begin. And I bet you, I bet you're right, we will be there for about 20 miles and you will not see a working man in sight. You will just be down to the slow speedings, right? You see, I can see the sign, 50. 50 you see, this is not on. I am not happy about this now. I'm going to go and I'm going to make the phone callings and do a complaint to the government. You know the government? Yes, goodbye for a bit. And I'll tell you another thing, dears, right? You see, we're doing the 50 miles an hour now. Um, I'll tell you another thing, right? I have the bad tooth. I, it is broken, right? And it is causing the pain. So, I'm not very happy about that. And there was blood and everything. And and I have to go and do the performance with the, with the painful teeth. And that's not good, is it? So anyway, yes. And we're listening still to the Adam and the Ants. And I should tell you why we're listening to the Adams and the Ants, right? Now, when, when Edward was a very, very young chap, right, I, I, I love the Adam and the Ants, the Prince Charming, right, and I used to get my mummy, right, to make, do makeups on me, on my face, so I looked like the Adams from the Adams and the Ants Prince Charming music albums. Oh, look at this chap here mucking about. Right, and you see, so I used to do that, and my mummy used to dress me up like this. You see this, with the makeups, and I used to love it. I used to love being the Adam and the Ant. And I shall tell you a secret now, right? One time, and it's very, very shaming for Edward, I wrote a letter to the Jim will fix it. You know that, that, that nasty chap. The Jimmel Savile, right? I wrote a letter to the Jimmel Savile for his show Jimmel Fixit because he used to do the things. If you don't know, right? Because it's only in the England, right? And if you don't know, the Jimmel Savile, he used to do the show where the children's, right? They would write in the letters and say, I would like to do this, Jimmel. Okay, Jimmel? And he would do it for them. He would make the, the dreams come true for the children, right? And I wrote a letter to him once uh, saying that I would like to do the makeups with the, the Adam and the Ants, the Prince Charming, and I would like to do a recreating of the, the music video for the Prince Charming songs when he swings from the chandeliers. You know that he swings from the chandeliers, dear, right? And so, and there was the Diana Doors in the video as well. Do you remember the Diana Doors, dear? He, so she was in it and he swung from the chandelier in the parties and I wrote the letter to the Jimmel Savile and she didn't reply and at the time when I was a very young chap I was very disappointed I think I cried right and but now I, I was very lucky that the Jimmel Savile did not reply to my lettings and get put me on his shows, the Jimmel Frexit. Aren't I lucky because we all know what happened with the Jimmel Savile. What a disgusting, dirty, terrible man he was. And so yes, and another thing, there was another thing I was going to say about the Adam and the Ants. Oh yes, the Adam Ants right he was on the televisions right one day on the morning children's show i can't remember it was saturday morning super noel edmonds shows i don't think noel edmonds was on it but it was like you remember the swap shops right so adam and the ants he was on the swap shops thing or it could have been the going lives i can't remember that they had all of these saturday shows one would end and then a new one would start 
and the Adam Ants was on there and all the children would do a telephonings in and they would ask Adam Adam Ants the questions and he would do an answering to it. Right? So I was I was his biggest fan and I wanted to phone him up. And, and speak to him. I didn't even have the questions. I just wanted to talk to the Adam and the ads, right? So my mummy and daddies, they let me phone, even though it was very expensive and we were poor. So I phoned and there was the engaged, do, 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 the engaged tones on the telephone. So I put the phone down and I picked it up and I, I called again and again the engaged tone the duh, 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 and I did it all mornings long, right? And it was engaged all the times, right? So then it, the, the television shows had finished and the Adam and the Ants uh, wasn't on the televisions anymore but I kept phoning it and eventually somebody answered it was a lady she was very nice right and I said hello my name is the Edwards and I would like to do a speakings with the Adam of the Ants please and she said I'm very sorry the Adam of the Ants has gone home and I cried. I was so upset. I spent the whole morning. I even missed the show when he was doing the talkings because I was doing the telephoning. Yes. And you see, so I did that and I was very upset. So my mummy and daddies, they took me into the, the Coventry town centres and they bought me a little sweet. I think it was called a caramel cup right and it cost 10p and it was from the little shop there was they had a little sweetie shop in the town and i i was all of a sudden i didn't cry anymore i was happy because i had my caramel cup right and even though i didn't speak to the adam of the ants i was i was i was okay you see so that's my stories about the adam of the ants and that is why i'm listening now Yes, nostalgia dears, nostalgia, it is important. So anyway, I'm going to go back to my very slow ring and ride because of the speed limits. With, you see, I can't see a chap working anywhere. Where's the working man? You see, if you could see, if you could see, we're doing all this, it's all the road workings, but not a road working chap. Nowhere to be seen, nowhere, it's terrible. Right, I'll be back uh, presently. Okay. Standard delivers this. You know it. I love the standard delivers your money or your life, dude. Yes. Stand and delivers your money's or your lives. Yes. Diddly quack quack. Diddly quack quack. Didn't they quack quack? Quack quack. Yeah, didn't they quack quack? We're still at the 50 miles an hour, dears. Come on, Mr. Ring and Ride. Tell them. Yeah. Can you live Your money or your life. Yes, indeed, dear. Yes. Adam of the Ants. Bloody hell. Terry Lee, Gary Tibson, yours truly, in the Naughty North and in the Central South, we're all singing, I got the mouth. In the Central South, we're all singing, I've got the mouth. We're all singing, I've got the mouth. And the Sexy South, we're all singing, I've got the mouth. In the Naughty North and the Sexy South, we're all singing. And the Sexy South, we're all singing, I've got the mouth. And the sexy south. I got the mouth. Have you got the mouth? I got the mouth. I've got the mouth with the bad tooth. Yeah. You know what's going to happen though, dude? I am planning on doing an Edward Show special, right? I'm putting it on the internet's YouTube, right? But it will probably get taken down because of these bloody laws they're coming in with. And they, they have these robots that run around the YouTube internet and they find when you have songs in the backings of your videos. 
So the robot will run around and he will find the Adam on the Ant songs and he will say, no, Edward, you can't use that on, the, on, your, um, on your YouTube's internet uh, videos because it has the Adam and the Ants in the background and they will take it down. And it's terrible, it is. You're wrong. Yes. So we're digging back now, Jesus. This, this is the best Adam and the Ants. The first album, The Dark Wears the White Socks, Jesus. It's great. I, I love the drummings on this album. Fabulous drummings. He has what they call the vibe. And he has the groove. Yes. Let's see this, listen to his. Yes. Nine can fail. Oh, nine can fail. Yeah. Oh, listen to that guitaring then. It's fabulous. I don't like this traffic, dears. I need a way. And it says lane closures slowing down. I don't like it. I'm stuck. Bloody hell. Yes. I like it. It's very nice. Yes. It's smooth. I like it. Yes, the harmonicas, dears. Hear that harmonicas? Yes, the funk, the funk. You hit the nail on the head. Oh! Da, 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 da. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. We got the funk. We got the funk in the ring and round. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You have to make it funky, you see, this. You have to. Isn't it nice? Uh, I, I think there has been like an accident or something there. I hope nobody is hurting. I can see uh, that there was a picture on up above on the screens, uh, like a car that was flipped. And I can see up ahead some flashy lights. I hope that nobody is hurting. We don't like the hurting people. We are back. We are back on the track, dear. Back on the track, right? And we're still listening to the funky funkadelics, right? And I love this song. Everybody's going to make it this time. Yes. Listen, the chorus is great. Yes, I love it. Oh, we got to learn from the stage. That we made it in the past. Yeah. 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 So that can be Together. Now the chorus. Everybody's going to make it. And our city, and our city, have been betrayed. We have been betrayed for, for money, and somehow the politics did. Yeah. They oh, will make the change. Make a change. There's not a doubt. There's not a doubt in my mind. In my mind. Hunger and anger place to play. Four miles there. Oh, did you hear those strings then? Marvelous this. Now.
to three miles to go. And it's 11.02 a.m. Together, together. Together. Everybody's going to make it this time. Oh, I'll do my shoulder. But it's going to make it. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, dear, yes. Come on now. Oh, the guitars. Come on. Give me those guitars. Oh, what you doing? The flashing. Uh, we haven't got another traffic jam, have we? What's going on? He was flashing for no bloody reasons, dear. What's he playing at? He needs telling. I think I should go past him and just stick you late wildly, dear. Tell him what you're flashing for, dear. Bloody, bloody. Yes. Everybody's going to make it this time anyway. This Jackie Edwards. On the way to the Nibiru's. It's 11.11, dears. And we're, um, we're getting into some deep, deep, funky music now. The deep, funky funk. I call my baby pussycat. George Clinton. Yes. Yes, you like that. I know you do. Ah. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Yes, he calls his baby pussycat ears. Come on now. Come. Baby pussy. 29 miles left, dears, to the London. Look at this. Stansted Airport, Potter's Bar, Dartford Crossing, dears. And if we go that way, it will be the Hatfield Services and the Barnet. Yes. All of the things. M25 we're on now, dears. Uh, oh, I'm confused now. I don't know where I am. What? Where am I going? What, what am I doing now? I don't know. I haven't the foggiest dear. The foggiest. Call my baby pussy. P U S S Y. Okay, I'm going to go because I need to remember what I'm doing. Um, I know that I was going somewhere today. Um, London Orbital, what does that mean? Now, oh, listen to the guitar, is that Eddie Hazel's on the guitars? Oh, is it? Yes, the Funkadelics and the Bernie Worrell's on the, the keyboarding steers. Yes, it is the clavinets. You know the clavinets, the one, 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 one thing. Um, but yes, I need to go because uh, I'm confused and I don't know where I am or where I'm going. Um, I'm just... I feel like I have just appeared in my bodies and I do, I, I'm just, I'm, try, I'm in a car, a ring and ride car and I, uh, um, w w what's going on? Um, I'm very confused, I have to go. All is well with the world, dears. I, I remembered what I'm doing just now. Can you hear the dusty, the dusty springing fields? I know where I am and where I'm going now. I'm on the multi multiways. M25 is going to the London to see the Nibiru's. Uh, can you hear the dusty? Oh, isn't she fabulous? Yes. It's because everything is all well with the world now. So we're hearing the dusty spring fields. Uh, now we're getting deep, dear. The Autica Confields album, see? <coughs> Deep into the electronics, dears. They do the fabulous things with the computing, right? The, the program, the, it's called the Max DSP, and they make their own instruments and they do all the fabulous electronics. Listen! I love it. 
love it. I love it all the matches. Yeah. 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 So anyway, we're not far from the landings now. We've got nine miles this. It says 14 minutes left and it's 11.34 so I, I might, if I don't hit the more traffics then I might even be there early this. Yes, because I like to be early it's because I can explore my surroundings and see what's happening and what's about and I can have a wee before everybody else gets there. Yes, so anyway, um, yes, I'm going to go back to listen to this fabulous Confield album by the Autocars. You know the Autocars? Yes, the two are chaps, they're very good. See you in a while. But now there's nowhere to hide since you push my love aside. I'm out of my head, hopelessly devoted to you. Where am I going? Oh, I need to come up here. To you, hopelessly devoted to you. Less than two miles, dears. 1.6 miles, four minutes. What's it on? 11.49, dears. Yes, I'm going to be early. Um, shall we have another sing song? What shall we sing? Share my life. Take me for what I Ah, and I'll never change all my colors for you. I don't want to have to look very much farther. I don't want to have to go where you won't follow. I won't hold it back again. There's passion inside. I can't run from myself. There's nowhere to hide Don't make me close one more door I don't want to hurt anymore Okay, it's it's somewhere around here, dude. Now, what are we? 130 yards I, uh, It's saying it's just up there I can't see anything Um, business what kind of business? Uh, east way. Yeah, it must be here somewhere. Let's get. We'll get through the traffic lights, right? And we'll have a see. I can see a word up there. It says studio. Maybe that is it. Maybe. It could very well be. Dear. Okay. Wait, a Hackney Wick. Hackney Wick. Yes. You have it, reached your destination. You have reached your destination. Uh, well, obviously not, dear. Let's go back this way. They, they need to open the car parkings for me. Let me see. Now, I'm doing a turning the rights. It's, you see, I can see the doors are open. It says the signs. We are open, dears. Uh, there's all the cars coming now. Right. Let me see. Come on, let me in. You're not letting me in, dears. You need to let me in. Do a lettings. Quick. Oh, every car in the world is coming now. Aren't they? Thank you. He was a very nice ch I've lost my hat. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, dears. We're here with the famous people. Look. The Ergo Fismis and the Elvis Herod. And you see the Tallulah Robertsons there. And the Katarina Robertsons is over there. And all of the cars, do you see them? Yes, the famous people. I'm in the company of the celebrities. So don't disturb me, dears. Bloody hell. Yes, look, we're all dancing and everything. We're doing the Nibiru things. Yes, and the planets and everything. Yeah.
spinning around. We're spinning around. Yes. We laughed at the blood. But it looked so beautiful and made the shape of a lily. We thought that was funny. Because lilies are red. And things that aren't are usually funnier than things that aren't. I remember walking through the rose farms buying rose oil and worrying about my bank balance. All those times, darling, you were there, and I was there, and we were there. <laughs> Bloody hell, dude! Bigger, and the birds made holes in their head, and the birds woke up. Time was safe, and we thought it was the drugs, but it 
but it fucking wasn't. It was a fucking end of time. We thought it was a wreck, but it fucking wasn't. It was the fucking end of time. Hell, we're just waiting for the people. So we're going to be starting the show in a while, dear. The Nibiru's Planet Show. Okay, see you later. And uh, this one's very well. Can you stick into that one? Hi everyone, how are you? Are you enjoying the sound check? Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings to the guy in the world's most beautiful suit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Beautiful. Incredible. Uh, welcome to the uh, techno apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> uh, we first presented this piece at uh, Rada Studios last uh, August. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And uh, this is the uh, second performance of it, uh, upon which we have added uh, various uh, intrusions. It, the initial idea was like to kind of do something about this crossover between kind of uh, conspiracy theory ideas and right wing uh, sort of ideas and this sort of very kind of questionable point uh, between uh, saying the earth is flat and let's kill everyone who's in this country. Um, so um, it is a kind of uh, piece, it's a pantomime about uh, the decline of uh, capitalism. Capitalism! And, uh, and And the whole idea, also, you know, because also the whole conspiracy theory idea and things like the view and the idea that a vast uh, celestial body 13 times the size of uh, the universe is right here, is going to uh, crash into our, uh, our, our planet. It seems to me to have an awful lot to do with kind of trying to replace the, the sense of fear caused by the fact that we're in a climate crisis. Um, so this is a piece about uh, the climate crisis, conspiracy theories, uh, pouring uh, a state agents through a tunnel into the centre of the earth. And, uh, How much I hate being Duncan Smith. Yeah. Although he's not technically mentioned in it, but he, he's not technically mentioned. Yeah. Although we, although we did cut most of the uh, images and colours to this on top of the painting we did. Yeah. So um, his face has been gently teasing him slightly to other devices of production. And what more could you ask for from pantomime? So instead of saying he's behind you, and I fucking hate all of his participation, tell me he's in front of you. Come on, put the numbers. He's in front of you. He's in front of you. Hooray. What do you want to say? You can decide now. Yeah, just shout and be horrible. Stop talking. This is the view of the empty pantomime. Probably the last performance of it in England, uh, and so uh, thank you for coming. And uh, here it is. Thank you to the old bats, and thank you to all the wonderful people who are in it, and thank you to you guys for being the exclusive club of Alcar Tesla. Hi everyone. Do you like the um the art form? So it's like passage, bisco, grey. I was scared to tie it up, but I'm not. It's terrible. 
and so in the middle, you can see that there's some any very and you can also tell uh, utopian looking masks, which <laughs> may want to have oh, some throughout the course of the evening's proceedings. It should last about maybe an hour, it's about an hour long, 50 minutes. Ish. So, so there's, I, I propose that we have a competition during the course of the piece, which is who eats the most rice gets a bag of rice.
God for that. <laughs> Hello, dears. Uh, we have just, we've finished the Nibiru show. We, the the world ha has ended again, and I am now g back on the ring and rides, going to see Janice, and then off to the circuses again, dears. And there's a show, <clears throat> it was fabulous, dears. You should have been there if you weren't. It was fabulous. I, I spent an evening with all the famous peoples and they were all fabulous, dears. I loved them. I loved, it was so it's great. Oh, noisy, noisy buggers. There was a chap called Mr. Fruit Salad. Mr. Fruit Salad, yes. and now I'm going home to see the Janice, the the Janice. Right. and the doggies, you know the doggies, the little Bab and the little Sid, <coughs> and so I'm going to leave you now, and I'm going to carry on for a bit, I'll be back uh, presently though. Yes dears, we're still heading on the way back to see Janice. I'm very tired. Oh, and by the way, we, we are listening to the Ergo Frismas. And the story here, right, let me tell you, this was the first thing I ever heard by the Ergo Frismas. 
and I had a conversation with the man himself earlier about the, about like when I first discovered his music. And it is this album called the Bourbourash, right? And this was the album that I heard that made me go, that chap, he knows. He knows what to do with the music. And it's just, it's a brilliant album still. It has all the songs there. Il Papa Romanos, right? And the, the um, Salad Amadeus. And there's a song called the NME. And there's lots of uh, Disposables Love songs, dude. Yes, and all of the fabulous songs. It's a very long, big, massive, grand, um, ambitious album. And it is so good. So good, you should listen. I think there is like 17 or 18 of the songs. And it's brilliant. And I'm just going to ramble for a bit because I'm very tired, you see. And I don't want to do the falling asleep on, on the driving. So, if I talk and talk, then it will help me to stay awake, you see. I, I don't know how long this 50 miles an hour business is going to be going on. But I know as well, right, that when I come off of the M1 and I go onto the M6, it is the same. Musics and questions and lots of education on the Edward Show. Fun and stories and all the entertainment, it's the Edward Show.